because what I found being at your show at Largo recently on the 20th is that, you know, it's very raw, it's very edgy, but it's refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm saying that as, you know, I hate to say it, but I'm saying that as a white girl growing up in the South. So yeah. I understand that humor, and it was brilliant that night, just brilliant. No, that was a good night. I mean, we were, that was, I mean, that lineup for the show, I think it was it was me, Hari, Dwayne and Kevin Avery, I believe. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so there was a very yeah. There's a lot of in your face, <laughs> <laughs> and also very stylistically different. We all are, but yes, you uh, are. but we but we all keep it up front and center. So, uh, I mean, I think the response has been good. I think you know, the the big deal for us is that doing it live on stage, the stand up I've been doing for a long time. So now trying to translate, I'm still we're still working on how to translate that energy and that rawness, as you say, to television. So um, that's the thing we're gonna look at as we get into the five days a week show is like how can we sort of like because a lot of the execs from FX came out and saw that show and were like there's things you're doing here that you're not doing on your television show we need to fix that yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so exactly. that and I was like yay <laughs> uh, so that there's a chance to really understand I think people the longer people are with me the longer the more they understand oh this isn't a talk show host <laughs> this isn't a guy who's trying to stand behind his mark and just sort of like deliver the jokes this is a guy who actually cares how do we put that on TV so I think we're, that's one thing we're really going to work on as we get into the fall exactly well I think the favorite part of my show the show that you did that night for me was when you were talking about your daughter oh yes and yeah. that whole um, difference of what it's like when you go to the playground I that was that was definitely good raw footage there. So well, no, it's. I think that it's funny because I. I mean, I've learned that from watching comedy, and you know, I think that you can yell about the issues of the day all day long, and people think that's funny. But if people need to know you're a person, you know, that you actually exist in the world, that you're not just some sort of comedy robot. I think that works best for me. So it's like I, I'm very aware that like. If I opened on stuff about my daughter, it would put everything else in a different context. But by closing on it, it's like you get this guy who's like, why is the world the place? Ah, and I have a kid. And people go, oh, okay, all right. He's not just some sort of, like, <laughs> disgruntled, <laughs> like, you know, he's actually a person and he cares about it. And, and I care about the future of the world. That's why I'm yelling about all this stuff, because I care about the future of the world because i got a kid. So, yeah. Absolutely. How is Chris coming to for the latest season come up. What is he doing now? How's how's he take some of the pressure off, or does he put pressure on you? I mean, he, I, I mean, he certainly always puts pressure on, but that's kind of what his job is to like sort of be, you know, I don't know what the word, like I'm, you know, I feel like the best way to describe it is like he's he's like uh, he's like Yoda, <laughs> I'm like and I'm Luke Skywalker, and I'm sort of like I don't know that I can lift this ship out of the water, and it's like you can do it, just do it, you know. So he's very much uh, is in my ear when he needs to be, and uh, but also wants me to do it once he as he said he says TCA if he has to still be at the show every day now then he hired the wrong guy so luckily he doesn't feel like he has to do that he's working on a movie right now so he feels like he can do that but he will certainly you know he's he's watched all the tapings of the show either live or on closed circuit uh, you know when we rehearse all the way through the tapings he gives me notes when he feels like he needs to give me notes every Thursday as would which you know, at 11.29, I get three phone calls, my mom, my dad, and Chris Rock, you know, like, sort of letting me know what they thought about the show. So he's he's way more involved than people realize, but he also understands that it's not about, he's, he's not supposed to be involved at the deep level all the time, you know, he's supposed to be, as he says, call me if you need anything, and that's his big thing, is call me if you need anything. Uh, and I feel like that's the nuclear option, so I try not to call him, because I want to I want to figure it out myself. But he also will stick his nose in, like, you need me right now, I can see something going on. Well, FX has always been in FX. It's always been great about breaking barriers, not having any limitations. That's why I like the show. What do you like about that show? About FX? Yes. FX about FX now, FXX? You know, the John Langrove, I haven't worked in a lot of television, so I can't really compare him to other people, but he's also, whenever I've talked to him on the phone or seen him in person, his note is go further. His note is not pull back. I mean, he's, he said, we're the only network who will tell people, do more, don't do less. So I think in my head, there's like, there's the Chris Rock voice uh, that is telling me to make sure it's funny, tighten it up, and, and you know, but then there's, and there's John Lair who say, push it as far as you can. They, the things they like about the show are the things I want the show to be. And so I think sometimes you sort of edit yourself, you know, oh, okay, we can't do this. And then you sort of realize, no, we can do whatever we want to. I would rather have FX go, whoa, <laughs> slow down, than to be like, oh, is that, is, is that what it is? So I think we really made an effort this past, especially the last seven episodes, to really push some things out there, like we did the debate comic versus feminist, 
uh, about rape culture and comedy, which for me is like, you're not going to see that anywhere else on television. So as far as I'm concerned, mission accomplished, you know. So we'll do more things like that. We take an explosive issue and bring in people to have a reasonable discussion about it. Have you ever heard of that reasonable discussion on TV? It's crazy. Uh, a reasonable but also funny because we're going to keep making sure the people who come in also going to be funny about it. We have a section called Matters That Matter, and basically it's about charity. What's a favorite charity of yours, if you have one, and why? Uh, favorite charity of mine? Um, these are good questions. Um, you know, there's a, you know, I'm a big fan of, of arts, and I'm a big fan of supporting in San Francisco uh, local theaters. Uh, so there's like, you know, because a, a 50 seat black box theater is one of the hardest things to keep open <laughs> in the world, you know. So there's a theater in San Francisco called Stageworks that had, that supported me when I was coming up and would help, would like give me a free night to do something or, or split the door or take less money when I didn't have it. So, and I really believe that cities need 50 seat black box theaters doing the weird art that later percolates into a television show. Like, because without Stageworks, I wouldn't have had a TV show. So regularly I go back and I do. It's like we call them benefits, but I just perform there and give them the door now that I have uh, the profile to sort of like fill the space with, you know, like, you know, just by announcing that I'll be there. And I just give it all back to them because I know that, like, it's hard to keep those little 50 seat black box theaters open. And so I really like helping them do that because I know that, like, you'll walk into one of those things and be like, what the hell is this? It's somebody putting their soul on the line for art and not thinking about the commerce, which is important. Thank you so much. Thank you.